The Islamic Republic hasn't seen a new airliner like this landing in nearly 40 years. The Iran Air Airbus A321 brings with it hope for a safer aviation industry here. Decades of international sanctions stopped new aircraft sales and spare parts. The shortage grounded many aging aircrafts in the Iran Air fleet. The average age of the 24 aircrafts still flying for the largest Iranian airline is 25 years. They flew at least 6 million passengers last year. The new Airbus will fly one of the busiest routes between Tehran and Mashhad. It's the first of 100 Airbus jets on order over the next five years, following the signing of an $18 billion deal last month with the European Consortium. Former Iran Air pilot Hushang Shahbazi knows how critical the deal for the new aircraft is. He's an Iranian hero after safely landing 113 passengers at Mehrabad Airport six years ago, despite nose gear failure. The captain managed to land the crippled airliner on its rear wheels. In the few seconds it took for me to land the plane, my entire life flashed before my eyes. My only thought was saving everyone on board. Although hailed a hero, his political activism forced him into early retirement. Captain Shahbazi says he is glad the government is finally making Iran's aviation industry a priority. Every day I wake up, I expect to hear the worst, that another plane has crashed and dozens have been killed. It's my worst nightmare. For now, Iranian government leaders are using the photo opportunity to silence critics of the nuclear agreement signed over 18 months ago. Regardless of where things stand between the Rouhani government and his conservative critics, the Airbus delivery is a significant achievement for Iranians made possible by the signing of the nuclear agreement. Iranian passengers will now be able to look forward to state-of-the-art aircrafts as well as safer skies. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Tehran.